the world owes Haiti a resolution. Not, it is not a matter of options. The world owes Haiti a resolution. A year ago, we knew that the gas riots had led to serious instability. And 12 months later, we cannot get out of this building and into the support that the people of Haiti need. There is no doubt a need for a legitimacy with respect to the government of Haiti. And therefore, a national unity government may well be the only bridge that can carry us to safety. The Caribbean community has appointed three former prime ministers as an eminent persons group. And as we heard the Secretary General say in this hall, politics is the art of compromise. Diplomacy is the art of compromise. I say simply to those who act in the name of the people of Haiti, there must be compromise in constituting that government of national unity if we are to provide the bridge, to provide the security, to stop women from being raped, stop people from being killed, stop people from being affected by cholera and other public health diseases. But even when we put in the institutional support that Haiti may need, and I want to thank the governments of Kenya and Rwanda, who from as far back as 12 months ago committed to being able to provide the kind of institutional support and leadership that the Haitian police need. But as they did that commitment, what they have not necessarily accounted for is the continued reduction in the numbers of the police, largely because of persons fleeing to lands of greater opportunity and being facilitated in so doing. This cannot wait much longer. And I hope that those who constitute the members of the Security Council will recognize that they cannot use Haiti as a pawn because they have suffered for too long and by the hands of too many. I return now to the issue of Cuba. That Cuba can <laughs> help so many in this world and yet be the continued victim of a blockade of over 60 years, but worse than that, a designation as a state sponsor of terrorism is wrong, wrong, wrong. We left Cuba last week. And what the people of Cuba are being asked to face on a daily basis because of a designation by a dying presidency is wrong. And the voices of the global community, many of whom have been the beneficiaries of Cuban assistance, need to stand united and to be able to say that we cannot fight these battles when we need all hands on deck to save the planet. The artificial division of who is right and who is wrong and who is good and who is bad in the eyes of those who are powerful cannot continue to be the way in which this world functions. 